All right, we're back. We got some Holy Mountain Bitter Peace. And this is a ESB Extra Special Bitter Ale. And looks like we're clocking in at about five ounces. Or five percent, I should say, not five ounces. 16 ounces. All right, let's see what this is all about. This one just came in today. Gave it a few hours in the fridge, so it might be still a little bit warm, but I'm cool with that. Okay, nice and nice malt presence. Um, it's definitely kind of got like a little bit of just a little bit of caramel sweetness, and then it has kind of like that bready, biscuity um, type like character to it. You know what I mean? Maybe you don't know what I mean, but it has like just a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of that bready, biscuity type vibe, and then. It's really not all too bitter. Like the name Extra Special Bitter throws you off, but it's not like an IPA. It's it's definitely less so. And it's very easy drinking, that's for damn sure. All right. We're going to be doing some Barrister and Man. And this is the Soft Heart series and the PP8 soap base. And this one is Paganini's violin very nice label right there standard issue for the uh, soft heart series you can see where I scrape some out but it is a very soft formula you get a look at the side label also uh, very nice and get a look at the ingredients see that all the way over to that okay let us get with it. We got the lather whipped up in the Lancaster bowl right here. We got our Alpha Shaving Outlaw handle. You can see down there in the bottom. Love that handle. This one's in red. And then I got an AP Shave Co. Jealousy Knot on top. So that is a gelled badger knot. Natural hair. All right. Let's get some water on the face and we will get with it. This is a very good scent. It was released last year and I really enjoyed it. It was unique. Um, it's kind of a different vibe, you know, it's a, it's a, a mellow vibe. You know, some of them are really, you know, dark and mysterious, maybe even foreboding. Others are really bright and playful. But this one here, it just kind of, it's like it's in purgatory or something. It's just like right in the middle. And to me, it's like a calming type scent, you know. Unoffensive. But it does smell really nice. I don't think, you know... It would be considered sexy or anything like that, but for casual enjoyment, definitely. <clears throat> the only thing I wish was if it was just a little bit stronger. I kind of get, you know, like with the vibe that this soap has, and maybe even the inspiration backstory type deal. Um, that maybe. I understand why it's a little bit, you know, under medium, but man, <laughs> if it was over medium, if it was like in the six range, I would be a happy fucking camper. And the PPA always lathers up nice, even with this jealousy knot, which for me, <laughs> has been known to eat some of my lathers. I don't know if it's just, I don't find it to be, you know, the densest knot in my collection, but it has some density. Um, but I, I don't know, it's just this jealousy knot. I have noticed it eat some of my lathers. Um, but God damn, it feels luxurious though. I'll tell you that much. 
definitely feels luxurious. All right. I think that'll do it. I'm going to take a little swig. All right. We are going to be using the Charcoal Goods Level 2. We got a Wizomet blade inside, and we got the Alpha Shaving Outlaw handle, which has outstanding knurling on it. Let's get into it. Sorry if you can hear that background noise. I think my uh, wife bought some, some like inner shower like shelves or some shit and she is obviously struggling. <laughs> I don't know if it's coming across but there's a lot of fucking banging going on over there. <laughs> so sorry about that. The uh, PP8 base is slick as fuck, man. There is like zero resistance whatsoever as that goes across. It is like, it's absolutely stellar. <clears throat> And this soft heart base is absolutely one of my favorite soap bases. Absolutely. <clears throat> and this Charcoal Goods Level 2 razor is definitely one of my favorite safety razors as well. God damn, talk about, talk about no fucking respect for my video tonight. <laughs> I'm sorry if any of this is coming across, um, on the audio. <laughs> but for me, on my side, it just sounds like my wife is going fucking ham in the other room. So hopefully... Hopefully you're not making up on that. <laughs> okay. Pass one down. Let's try to get a little bit more moisture on the face. Redistribute a little bit of that lather. A little bit more moisture on the neck. <clears throat> been a, a somewhat long day but not too bad not too bad a little bit tired but uh, we are gonna get through it <clears throat> I had a fucking awesome beer mail call today um, if you follow my IG you probably saw it but got two barrel aged bottles in and then three, four packs. Um, I think it was like an IPA, uh, ESB, like the one I'm drinking here. And then I th what was the other one? I think the other one might have been a pale ale. But uh, from Holy Mountain, my favorite brewery. So that was pretty fucking cool. I absolutely love that they uh, ship throughout Washington now. If COVID did anything for me, <laughs> it forced my favorite brewery to uh, start canning and and start shipping. And some breweries definitely needed the push because they weren't gonna do it on their own. So I think that's pretty cool. I don't think some of these breweries that innovated are gonna turn back the clock you know, when things open up, I think this is just going to be a part of the beer game now, you know, you could ship alcohol throughout the state.
some states this might have been a thing for a while, but for us it wasn't. So I, uh, right before doing this, right before I took my shower pre-shave, um, I was looking on Instagram because I saw BBS Live was on there, and um, it was Nate and Latherhog, and they were attempting to figure out how to, how to get, like, multiple people on Instagram, not just, like, two people, me and the guy I'm doing the, and the guy I'm sharing the live with, they were trying to figure out how to get multiple people on there, and, um, they were having a rough time, but then on another chat, a few of the other guys, um, uh, if you know them from the Lather and Blade group, B. Lou and Jared from Thirsty Badger, and Shaving with Raza from YouTube, and um, Magic Mike as well. All four of them were in one Instagram Live. So they cracked the code. I have no idea how they did it, but you could just imagine the roundtable-esque content that is on the horizon. That is pretty cool. I didn't know Instagram had that functionality. Maybe it's brand new. I imagine if we knew about it, we would have been doing it already. So that's pretty cool. I know you could already do live chats privately. I didn't realize that, you know, they could do it publicly. So that's pretty fucking cool. I imagine BBS Live or maybe someone else will take up the reins and start doing like a round table-esque type um, Instagram content that'd be pretty fucking cool I've always liked the thought of that alright and that does it let's go ahead and get the lather off the face and we will get some of this post shave going on uh, I didn't, I don't think this one was actually released with a post shave, and if it was, it was probably a balm, and I, I don't have many, don't have many scented balms anymore because I'm phasing them out, phasing out the scented balm. And so I had to do a little mixy matchy and I don't think I came anywhere close. This scent is pretty unique in its standing. I definitely used something different last time I used Paganini's violin, but um, it's all good. All right. Lancaster get all this out of the ear then we'll move on oh not too shabby the charcoal goods is just one smooth operator man smooth fucking shaver Okay, gonna stop there, get this aftershave going. And we'll cut you loose. Just now I tried picking it up from the cap, and I had too much slickness on my fingers to start to slide now. So here we go. Chatelon Lux Unconditional Surrender Post Shave Toner. And this is just a fantastic one. Disregard the uh, little thing there that looks like Confluence, the little uh, logo. This one is Unconditional Surrender. <clears throat> and it has a nice quality restrictor on it. 
Bravo, Chateauan Lux. Bravo. I miss these old aftershave splashes, aftershave toners that Chateauan Lux used to make for declaration grooming. Or actually, they may have just made them all on their own. Because I know you bought them from from uh, Chateauan Lux and not from Declaration Grooming. So maybe it was just their own product. To be honest, I basically missed the whole train with Declaration Grooming um, in this previous base. I think after the introduction of Milk Steak, I got a couple of the Bison Tallow soaps and then a couple of these old uh, aftershave splashes or aftershave toners. So I basically missed the whole old declaration grooming. I definitely didn't get any L and L grooming, but uh, I'm starting to build a little bit of milk steak collection. I do really like that. Anyhow, guys, everything performed great. This was a great fucking shave, and I was a little bit mellow on this one, but still, still great shave. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you appreciated the video. I sure appreciate you guys for all your support. Cheers, and I'll catch you on the next one.